Deb Hoffman, Guinness World Record holder of the largest Winnie the Pooh collection in the world. And I am so excited to be able to share my secret with you finally. You know how difficult it is to keep a secret, especially when it's a great secret. Well, I've got an awesome secret for Winnie the Pooh fans. About a year ago, I was contacted by a TV station, and they are going to be premiering a new collector's series. And so it's going to be on MeTV. And so they had contacted me and came out last June. So I've had to keep a secret all the way from June. And so anyway, the, the premise of the show is it's called Collector's Call. And the hostess of the show is Lisa Wetchell. And she was Blair on the TV series Facts of Life. So yes, Blair was at my house, so that was very, very cool. I shared the stage with, with uh, Lisa. So anyway, so the premise of the show is, is I need to pick out about 10 items that are either rare or expensive or, or, or hard to find or, you know, something like that. And so what we do is we talk about the items, where I got them, you know, is there any kind of a backstory about the items? And then I had also an appraiser that was on this show. And so Gary and I would go blah, 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 blah about the items and, and, and tell Lisa all about these items. And then the appraiser would give her opinion about the condition you know maybe how how rare they really are and then what she thought they were worth and so it was a fabulous fabulous show but now here's the thing the catch is at the end of the show is going to be the collector's call if they want to trade something that they actually bring in so they asked me, uh, you know, lots of questions about, you know, is there anything you're looking for? What's your holy grail? And so I gave them all kinds of ideas. And so at the end of the show, they're going to present me with something and ask me if I want to trade for it. So, okay, you guys, you have to tune in. You have to watch it to the end. Yes, I cried. And so I can't wait for you to see it. I can't tell you what I traded for, though, or if I traded. But let me tell you, it's going to be so worth your while to watch the show. So one of the items that I talked about was, you know, my, one of my favorite topics, the Agnes Brush collection that I have. And this is one of my Agnes Brush piglets. And so that was one of the items that was featured on the show. And so I can't wait for you to see it. It is absolutely fabulous. Lisa was wonderful. The whole crew, the whole filming crew was wonderful. It was an 11-hour shoot. And how they're going to get this down to 22 minutes, I do not know because, boy, we went blah, 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 blah the whole day, and it was fabulous. So I can't wait for you to see it. Definitely look at the trailer. And so the trailer is out on Most Poo right now. So if you've gone out to the new Most Poo website, you'll be able to see the trailer. It's right on the front page right now. And so click on it and you'll be able to see the trailer from Twitter and from Facebook. And so with another episode of Never Enough Poo, it'll give you also another chance to enter the Never, new Poo, Never Enough Poo contest. So hopefully I'll be able to give you a Winnie the Pooh at the end of the month. And this time around, the same thing as is last time, I'd love for you to give me feedback on the new Most Poo website. And so... Please watch this episode and make sure that you, you're a subscriber for YouTube. Go on out to Most Poo, enter the contest. Let me know what you think about the website. And hopefully again, at the end of the month, I'll be sending you a free Winnie the Pooh. Thanks so much. Watch the video, watch the trailer, and TTFN.